Hi everyone, Dinesh Sirisena here and today we're going to be talking about imaging the knee joint. As with my previous talks, I recommend two resources. Firstly, ultrasoundcases.info and the ESSR guidelines on musculoskeletal imaging. In this case, imaging for the knee. And here are the images from the ESSR guideline. So typically, when scanning for the knee joint, you'll have the patient in a supine position with the knee slightly flexed. Here, in the images, it shows scanning the suprapatellar bursa and the quadriceps tendon. This is one way of accessing the knee joint, and it can be very useful when undertaking interventions. Similar to the ESSR guidelines, I keep the patient in a supine position with the knee flexed to 90 degrees using a support. The support is very helpful in that it allows the patient to relax and also maintains stability when undertaking the imaging. Typically, when scanning for the knee joint in preparation to undertake an injection, I will either assess the suprapatellar bursa, which is what's going on in the first image, or I will consider the patellofemoral joint. With the first part, I typically use a linear transducer, whereas when scanning the patellofemoral joint, I'll assess this area using a hockey stick transducer. And this is what you will typically see. In the first image, we will see the suprapatellar bursa with the quadriceps tendon sitting over the top. And if there is an effusion, you will see it as a hypoechogenic change above the femur. And then in the second image, you see the patellofemoral joint with the patella and the lateral or medial femoral condyle, depending on which orientation you're scanning. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the video informative and it adds to your knowledge of musculoskeletal ultrasound imaging. If you did, please remember to hit the like down below and follow the channel for further updates. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram and remember to check out sportsmedinfo.sg. Thanks again and I hope to see you all very soon.